Today's lesson is 6 and 4 tenths partial quotients part 1. So partial quotients part 1, why are we doing this? Well, this is another strategy on how we can divide large numbers and it gives you a little bit of extra cushion as far as the learning curve goes to help you get to the point where you can actually do long division, which is what most of your parents are probably familiar with. So let's get started. Let's say that we have 127 divided by 7. And I'm going to set my problem up like this. I'm going to put a line on this side. And what I need to think about are multiples of 10 because that's going to come in handy. So if I think about how many 10s, 7 times 10, I could just put a 10 over here. So I'm going to take 7 times 10, and that is 70. And I'm going to subtract that from 127. That gives me 57 after I do my regrouping. Now, I have to look at my 7 and think about how many times does 7 go into 57. We've made our number smaller now. We started with 127 and now we're down to 57. That sounds a little bit more manageable. I know that 7 times 8 is 56. So that is something that is really close and it doesn't go over 57. So I go ahead and multiply those and then I subtract. I get one left over. Now I know that I can't take any sevens away from one. So my next step is to actually add the numbers that I used on the right side of the line, which equals 18. I'm going to take that 18 up here, and that becomes my answer with a remainder of one. So that would be my answer to 127 divided by 7. Okay, the next problem I'd like you to take a look at is 92 divided by 4. Now you might be asking, does it matter what numbers that I pick to go on the right side? Can it be done more than one way? And the answer is yes. Um, you're going to pick whatever numbers that you are most comfortable with. So I'm going to just pick 10 to start with here because I know 10 times 4 is something easy to multiply and I know my answer is not bigger than 92. It actually equals 40. So then I'm going to go ahead and subtract that and now I'm down to 52. So I can think about what number times 4 is close to 52 or doesn't go over. I could do 9 which of course 9 times 4 gives me 36 and when I subtract that out I get 16 and so then I'm going to keep going because I still have 16 and I have to see how many 4's go into 16 I know that 4 times 4 is 16 so lo and behold I don't have a remainder with this particular problem so I add these three numbers and I get 23. So don't forget, put your answer on top of your division bar. And we learn that 92 divided by 4 equals 23. And just to show you that I could do this same problem picking different numbers, I have the same exact problem, 92 divided by 4, here on the right side. But I picked 4 the first time, I picked 6. I picked another 6, I picked 7, and I still ended up with a final answer of 23 after I did all my multiplying and my subtracting. So in class we will practice using partial quotients to divide. Stay tuned because you know there's going to be a part 2.